you be productive while using the iPad? The Big W himself, Walt Mossberg, is about to weigh in here on Digits. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Simon Constable, and Walt joins us now from Washington, D.C. Walt, thanks for being there. I'm delighted to be here, as always. So pr productivity is something that you do very well. Can you actually be productive on an iPad, or is it just for friv frivolity? No, uh, it's not just for frivolity, and it drives me crazy, uh, to be honest, uh, as somebody who's used an iPad heavily since it launched, when I see particularly analysts calling iPads, and to be honest, Android tablets as well, um, you know, content consumption devices or media mm. consumption devices. They certainly are that, but there's thousands of productivity apps and functions uh, on an iPad, including uh, specialized, you know, apps for contractors and doctors and salespeople, apps from companies like Oracle and Salesforce and IBM and other big companies, and a whole bunch of office suites that have been designed for use uh, with touch uh, and the uh, iPad interface. So the answer to me is emphatically uh, you can be productive on an iPad. And, and you wrote your column using using an iPad this week, right? You used a... I did. A, 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 used a, do you use the, the, the external keyboard or the, the on-screen the on, on keyboard? Well, the, I, I used a Bluetooth physical keyboard. I don't normally do that on my iPad, but as I said in the column, I do think if you're doing a longer document, and my column was over a thousand words, that's pretty long, uh, or you know some kind of presentation or spreadsheet, uh, you're going to want to use a keyboard. And the iPad uh, can use uh, almost any Bluetooth keyboard. If you have a Bluetooth computer keyboard, for instance, lying around your house, odds are you can link it to the iPad and use that. So, Walt, you, you reviewed a number of products for, for helping with productivity on an iPad. Yep. Which one did you like the most? Well, uh, they, they do different things, Simon. I hesitate to pick one over the other. I will tell you, and this might surprise people, that in the uh, history of the iPad, the all-time paid app is a word processor called Pages that Apple makes. It's part of their iWork suite, which is kind of their answer to... Microsoft Office for um, both the Mac and the uh, iPad and iPhone. And uh, the number one paid app is a Pages, this word processor, and it outsold uh, uh, Angry Birds, or the paid version of Angry Birds. So that tells you something about what people are willing to uh, buy and download on an iPad. Um, mm -hmm. and, and there are ma and What there, about so Quick Office? Tell us about that. Quick Office is owned by Google. It's been around a long time. It does a good job. All of these things uh, 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 can take in and produce uh, documents in the formats of Microsoft Office. They're, they don't have all the features of Microsoft Office on a desktop, but they are designed to work with the interface of the iPad. And for most average spreadsheets, simple presentations, word processing things, which is really what most people do, uh, they do fine. Okay. So there's a AstroPad. What about, what about Astropad that? AstroPad is a new one, and it's it falls into a slightly different category. What it does is it provides a, a window sort of on the iPad into a server where they're running on a PC a full desktop office suite. In the case of AstroPad, it's not official Microsoft Office. It's a version of what's called Open Office. And you get a lot of features, and you get better document fidelity on that. But the downside is you can't use it uh, offline, because you've got to be uh, in the cloud. And secondly, um, a lot of the gestures and controls are meant for a mouse, and they're a little harder to use on a touch device. So, so Walt, uh, do, do you think if you just were using, um, on your productivity side, if it was just word processing, was just writing, like writing a column, writing a story, whatever, that you could survive solely on the iPad? Yeah, I think you could. I would recommend that people use a Bluetooth keyboard for that situation, but uh, you could, and it's, it doesn't have to be just text. I mean, I created documents with, um, you know, photos and tables inserted in them, and all of that can be done quite easily. Uh, simple spreadsheets as well, and simple presentations as well. 
Awesome. So you awesome. can be productive on an iPad. Okay, uh, the only question is, can we be productive elsewhere? That is the question. Thank you very much. <laughs> Big W himself, Walt Mossberg, we appreciate your time, sir. Take care, Simon. Okay, and that's it. That's Digits for now.